All right, welcome to Kraku. This video, we will be exploring the formulas and basic concepts of boats, streams, and escalators. These are probably some of the most fun questions that come in CAT. So let's see. So let's start with the formula. So boats and streams are basically anything with two speeds where you have to calculate the relative speed. So let's say the speed of water is W and the speed of the boat in still water, still water where the water is not moving, there is no additional speed of the water. Uh, the speed of the boat downstream, it will be B plus W and speed of the water upstream will be B minus W. That's because when the boat is moving in the direction of the water, the speed of the water will aid the speed of the boat. So the overall speed will be B plus W and speed of the boat upstream when it's moving against the speed of the water, the speed of the water will obviously decrease the overall speed of the person or the boat. So direction along the stream is called downstream as I said and the direction against the stream is called upstream. Now if the speed of the boat downstream is x kilometers per hour and the speed of the boat upstream is y kilometers per hour, then boat of speed of boat in still water is x plus y by 2 and speed of stream will be x minus uh, y by 2. This is just basic formula which you can derive with b plus w and b minus w. If the speed of person is x and the speed of escalator is y, then the relative speed or the overall speed is x plus y in the same direction. Now similarly, if they are moving in the opposite direction, the speed of the escalator will obviously reduce the overall speed of the person in the escalator. So the overall speed will be x minus y and if it is in the direction as I said, it will be x plus y. Now using these basic formula, let's look at some cat questions and which will help you give you a conceptual understanding. A person is walking on a moving escalator. He takes 25 seconds to reach from one end to another. Another person who is moving on the same escalator but in the opposite direction takes 20 seconds to reach one end to another. So one guy is moving from one end to the other, the other guy is moving in the opposite direction and the escalator is moving in the direction of the first person. If the speed of the first person to this ratio of the speed of the first person to the second person is 2 is to 7, find the time taken by the first person to go from one end to the other end on a stationary escalator. So we need to find the time taken to go from one end to the other end without the help of the escalator. So let's get started. So let's take the distance of the escalator as d. This is the entirety of the escalator and the ratio of speeds is given. So first person speed let's say is as 2x first person and second person will take it as 7x. Now uh, the speed of the escalator is unknown and we will take that as s. So the distance of the escalator is d and the speed of the escalator is s. Now we are given that the first person takes 25 seconds to reach from one end to the other. So using basic distance time formula, total distance divided by as the person is moving in the direction of the escalator, the speed of the escalator will help the overall speed. So it will be 2x plus s is equal to 25. Now looking at the second person, he is moving in the opposite direction and it will take him 20 seconds to reach one end to the other. Right? So obviously his speed is greater than the speed of the escalator. So d by 7x minus s is equal to 20. Now we are given the two equations, we need to simplify it. Let's divide, let's call this equation 1, let's call this equation 2. Let's divide equation 1 with equation 2, we will get 7x minus s divided by 2x plus s is equal to 25 by 20 will, is what we get, taking 5 common, we will get 5 by 4. Simplifying it, we will get 28x minus 4s is equal to 10x plus 5s. Now taking s on one side, x on one side, we will get 18x is equal to 9s. So s will be equal to 2x. Now we know that from the first equation or the second equation, d is equal to 25 into 26 plus s. So replacing s with 2x, we will get d is equal to 100x. 
and now we uh, we were to find out find the time taken by the first person to go from one end to the other on a stationary escalator so there is no help of s for the question that we need to solve so it will be distance divided by speed of the first person will be 2x from here so 100x which is the distance we found divided by 2x will be equal to 50 the answer is c let's move on to the next question the speeds of a motorboat and a stream are in the ratio 3 is to 2 so let's write speed of motorboat and speed of stream is equal to 3 by 2. If the motorboat travel a distance of 40 kilometers in 8 hours while traveling downstream. So downstream that means the stream will be helping the overall speed. So it will be speed of boat plus speed of water. So 40 kilometers by we will write this as 3x and 2x. So since it's downstream it will be 3x plus 2x, so it will be 5x, will be equal to 8, right. Now simplifying this, we will get x is equal to 1. What is the distance travelled by motor boat in 6 hours when it is travelling upstream? Now we know x is equal to 1, so the speeds will be 3 kilometers per hour and 2 kilometers per hour. So that's the ratio, that's how we got 3 by 2. And now uh, distance traveled by motorboat in 6 hours, so basic distance time formula. So time into the speed, which will be since it upstream, it will be speed of the motorboat and minus the speed of the water. Now we have found out that x is equal to 1, it will be 3 minus 2, which will be 6. So the distance traveled will be 6 kilometers. Let's go to the next question. A man starts on his jet ski to cover a certain distance upstream and return back to his starting point. The difference in time while traveling upstream and downstream is 30 seconds. He takes 80 seconds to cover the distance to and fro in still water. Okay. If the speed of the jet ski is 30 meters per second in still water, let's find out the speed of the stream. Right. Okay. A lot of information, but let's get started with the difference in time while traveling upstream and downstream is 30 seconds. So obviously, time. Let's take the total distance as d to travel upstream d and downstream also d. So the difference in time while traveling upstream and downstream is 30 seconds. That means let's take speed of jet ski as b, speed of stream as s. Regular notations. So the time taken to travel upstream will be more than time taken to down, downstream. So, B minus S minus D by B plus S will be equal to 30 seconds. Since uh, the difference between time taken upstream and downstream is 30 seconds. Now, he takes 80 seconds to cover the entire distance to and fro in still water. So, 2D divided by because to and fro and speed of the boat will be b so b will be equal, this will be equal to 80 seconds cancelling this so d will be equal to 40b the speed of the jet ski is given as 30 meters per second in still water find out the speed of the stream so speed b is given to us 30 seconds per 30 meters per second so, substituting whatever we have gotten already, we will get d by 30 minus s minus d by 30 plus s is equal to 30, 30 seconds. Right now, substituting d is equal to 40b, we will get and taking that in common and bringing it down here, we will get 1 by 30 minus s minus 1 by 30 plus s will be equal to 3 by 4 b. Now expanding this or simplifying it, we will get 30 plus s minus of 30 minus s divided by 900 minus s square is equal to 3 by 4 b. So we'll get 3 by 4 b. Now we know uh, if I got to substitute b is equal to 30. So substituting that we will get 3 by 
uh, 40 into 30 dividing 3 we will get 44 into 30 taking out 3 we will get b this will be equal to 1 by 40. So simplifying this further we will get 2s by 900 minus s square is equal to 1 by 40. Now um, multiplying it we will get ads is equal to 900 minus s square. Now we will get s square plus 80s minus 900 is equal to 0. Now uh, you can either use the quadratic equation formula or you can directly factorize this. You will get the roots as well, let's use the formula. So minus 80 plus or minus b square minus 4ac. So it will be plus 3600 divided by 2. So this will be minus 80 plus or minus this will be uh, 1000. So 10,000. So this will be 100, 100 divided by 2. Now we know the speed of the stream cannot be negative. So we'll take the positive root, which would be 100 minus 80, which is 20, 20 divided by 2, which is 10 meters per second. Let's go on to the next question. Two boats A and B race for a certain distance downstream. That means the speed of the water is helping the overall speed wherein A gives B a head start of 10 km. As a result, they both take exactly 4 hours to finish the race. So this means that if uh, B travelled D kilometers, A would travel D minus 10 km because B has gotten a head start of 10 km. Let X kilometers per hour be the relative speed between them when they travel upstream in the river. Now let's take speed of the stream as S and let's take their speed as A and B. So when they're traveling upstream, their relative speeds for them, their overall relative speeds will be a minus s and b minus s. And given that the relative speeds between them is given as x, so relative speed is nothing but a minus s minus of b minus s, which will be a minus b. So basically, uh, relative x is equal to speed of a minus speed of b, which is what is given to us. Which of the following correctly de de depicts the range in which x lies? So we'll need to. I will either get a value for x, or we'll get a range of x, and we'll have to see which option satisfies that. So given that, uh, let's take the overall distance b covers is d kilometers. Let's say the overall race distance is d kilometers. That means uh, b will travel d minus 10 kilometers because b has gotten a head start. And both take exactly the same amount of time. So let's say if we take speed of B as B, so speed of A would be B plus X because that's what is given to us. So D by speed of A is equal to B plus X is equal to 4. And at the same time, D minus 10 kilometers divided by B is also equal to 4 because both of them take the exact same time, which is 4 hours to finish the race. Now, dividing or expanding d is equal to 4b plus 4x and d minus 10 is equal to 4b. d is equal to 4b plus 10. Now, substituting this here, we will get 4b plus 10 is equal to 4b plus 4x. Now, cancelling 4b on either side, we will be left with 10 is equal to 4x x will be equal to 2.5. So we got a direct value for x. And let's check the options. Uh, 2.5 lies between 2.35 and 2.65. So b is the answer.